Hey everybody, welcome back to Vincent Vision. Today we are coming to you from City Walk here at Universal where we are having lunch at the Toothsome Chocolate Emporium. City Walk's most popular restaurant. You know it's the most popular. I know you've thought about eating here. We're gonna have a full lunch here at the restaurant. Appetizers, entrees, their famous desserts. Share with you guys our experience here at Toothsome and hopefully help you guys realize if this is the perfect place for you and your family to have food here at Universal. So welcome to another episode of Vincent Vision. Watcha! Hello everybody, welcome back to Vincent Vision. It's us, we're here, and we are having lunch at City Walk's most popular restaurant, without a doubt in my mind, the Toothsome Chocolate Emporium. For those of you who may or may not know what this place is, it's basically that big Willy Wonka factory looking restaurant that you've seen out in City Walk on the way to the park. So you go, oh, I've always wanted to eat there, but it's always like super busy, isn't it? Uh, it is, but we've got a reservation for lunch and we're excited to take you guys along with us and show you all of the wonderful food that they have here at the restaurant. So the full name of this restaurant is the Toothsome Chocolate Emporium and Savory Feast Kitchen. And that is uh, exactly what you can expect if you were gonna be eating here at Tucson. This is a savory feast kitchen, you know. Antijitos is Mexican food, Vivo is Italian. This is a little bit of everything here at Universal, but the specialty is savory feasts. And of course, the sweets as well. This is a place known for its very, very popular, very big milkshakes here. And even if you're not eating here at Tucson, you can still go into the restaurant. They actually have a dedicated milkshake bar where you can order milkshakes to go or have a seat. They also have that very, very big gift shop with a bunch of merchandise. And they also have a lot of take home, walk around candies like macarons and uh, chocolate bars and things like that. We have ordered two appetizers. We're gonna have our entrees. And I, I think we're gonna have two desserts. We're gonna try to have two desserts. <laughs> what did we order for dessert? I mean, what did, what did we yes, order for, <laughs> sorry. What did we order for our appetizers? So we ordered the tachos. They are fried tater tots, spicy green chili, crisp pork belly, and dually sausage queso. Warm chocolate almond bread. It is served with a salted caramel butter. We were just having a wonderful uh, lunch here at Tucson and didn't think we would bump into Penelope Tucson herself. Uh, yes, have we met before? Honestly, uh, it's very difficult to keep track of if we met in the future and this is the past, or if we met in the past, this is the future. Uh, past um, and present time, and you know, just just a fan popped in here once or twice. You know, yeah, seen you running around. Have you seen Jacques? <laughs> oh, you have not seen Jacques. Is he out and about today? I've literally lost him. Right? Oh, okay. Please, so if you see him, please let me know. <laughs> okay, we will. Uh, we'll be on the lookout. Obviously, I think he's um, slightly avoiding at the moment. You see, he got into a tip with our toast and Deborah, and he's trying to not really take care of us. So he's sort of been hiding. Sure, sure. Okay. Just if you see him, don't mention Deborah or Toasters. Okay. All right. We'll be on the lookout. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Do enjoy the rest of those top shots. Oh, and if you flip that upside down, cut it from the bottom, it will break apart as much. Oh. We just got some advice on how to eat our almond bread from Penelope Tufsum herself. Flip that sucker open. Wow. This here, this is the chocolate almond bread. You know, the fun thing, the specialty about Tufsum is apart from their very good food all around, they actually do have some like hybrid chocolate menus. Like on the appetizer section, there were like chocolate wings, and this is warm chocolate almond bread. I've actually had this before. I think this is really, really good. It's also pretty affordable as an appetizer. It's like, I think it's like five or six dollars. It's really tasty. I can't wait for Ellison to try this because I, I really, really enjoy it. You can kind of see a little bit of the chocolate on there and all the big old butter that I put on there too. The tachos are really, really great. The tots are, are fluffy and soft. The cheese is nice and gooey. This is definitely a great appetizer to share with a party. This restaurant does really, really well for dinner. And while the lunch and the dinner menu are the same, it's definitely more of like, I could imagine like a dinner spot, but they do actually serve brunch all day. So, I mean, who knows? Maybe this is a good spot for lunch too. Maybe it's just a good spot all around. I did a video here at some a while back, a couple years ago. And I think my favorite appetizer, which still is, is their Brussels sprouts that they have here. You should definitely watch that video to see some more options of different types of food you can get here at Tucson Chocolate Emporia. For our entrees, Ellison has decided on the patty melt from the brunch menu, and I got the chicken cordon bleu sandwich. Our server said they were both really great options, so we're excited to try them out. Thank you so much. Oh my God. I'm gonna already say, I'm gonna need a box. So this is delicious. 
but it is so very interesting to have the hint of sweetness from the French toast. But it does put a very unique flavoring to it that I like. So I ended up with the Cordon Bleu sandwich. This is it right here. Look at that. Look at that cheese on top of it. This is, uh, for those who don't know, Cordon Bleu. It was a uh, stuffed chicken breast here. It's filled with ham and Swiss cheese. It smells delicious. I gotta take a bite of this big boy here. Let's see. This is a lot, too. <laughs> I thought it wasn't gonna be as much as your big old patty melt, but this is like a whole other monster as well. It is thick and steaming. Look at that. And the goo. I know. Oh, boy. We did it! A successful twosome lunch. In and out in an hour, which is really great, by the way. We got the whole shebang. We got some appetizers, some entrees, and of course, how can you go to Toofsome and not get an amazing dessert? And I've got here the strawberry cheesecake milkshake and a Thrilla in vanilla. There's a lot in here. It's a lot, a lot of villains. This is the one I ordered. This is the one Elson ordered. Elson, did you like it? I did. Yeah. Stick a thumbs up in front of the camera if you liked it. There you go. <laughs> so I'm going to try yours because that actually sounds pretty interesting. There's like mm. little cheesecake crumbles within. Oh, yeah, but I really like yours. I almost like yours a little bit more than the one I got, honestly. I got the Thrilla in vanilla, which was all vanilla anything. There's like crumbles of like a vanilla biscotti, I believe it's what it's called, or, or wafers, wafers. There's wafers in here. A little macaroon. It is truly, truly vanilla, but I think yours beats it just by a little bit. Really, really good stuff. Do you want to try mine? Oh, there's also, you can kind of see here, there's like a whole cheesecake piece in there and a chocolate strawberry too. And then I've got a whole vanilla macaroon in there, which I'm sure would be really good and really tasty, but like, <laughs> it's a lot. We had a lot of food. Yeah, yeah, we uh, we are good with food. So we got our sippies here and you can actually take these home, but don't put them in the dishwasher is what our server told us. Elson, what did you think about Tupsum Chocolate Emporium? This was your first time eating there. Honestly, everything was great. The tachos were wonderful, perfect little savory beginning. And then that patty melt. Oh my gosh, with that <laughs> with the French toast. Tupsum still is a really great restaurant with a lot of different food options as well. I think that's really what's kind of the most impressive thing about yeah. this place is flatbreads, burgers, sandwiches, full on entrees, all different types of food, which is really great. We actually had a lot of trouble picking our food for today. Plan this meal towards the end of your day or if you plan on going back to your resort and taking a nap, because I could not imagine riding the yeah, Hulk or Hagrid no after this. No, There's no, no, no way you can have this for lunch and then like jump back into the park and go straight to the Hulk or Forbidden Journey or something like that. Oh, no way. God, Good luck. No. After all these years, Tufsum still is the most popular restaurant here at City Walk, and for good reason. It's got some really great food, some really delicious milkshakes, really fun ambience and characters, a um, really special standout universal owned restaurant here in City Walk. Would definitely recommend it still if it's something you're interested in. Just like don't eat anything at all to get ready for your lunch or dinner at Tufsum. We are ready to get on out of here, ready to waddle back on over to our car because we're full of milkshakes and giant patty melts but thank you guys for watching another vincent vision uh, i hope you had fun having fun with us if you have any questions please leave a comment down below be sure to check out some of the other city walk videos we have done at the other restaurants they're all really really great spots and hopefully we can help you find the right one for your universal trip but until then we're going to get on out of here thank you guys for watching another vincent vision and we'll see you at the next one Bye bye wow, wow.